I'm pretty sure 2020 and 2021 are two years that we would like to forget. It's been two years, exactly two years, mm -hmm. since the World Health Organization declared COVID-19 a global pandemic. Quickly, the world came to a halt. The pandemic and COVID and just everything that the world was going through during those two years, it was tragic. And I think a lot of us really, really struggled through those years. I think the thing that was crazy with the whole COVID situation was the level of fear that was instilled in us by media outlets and everything that we were consuming over time during those two years we were taught to fear life again and so coming out of covid what i wanted to do was to show people that there is light at the end of the tunnel and you don't need to be so engulfed and immersed in this world where society is basically putting in newspaper feeds and social feeds and on the tv all the things that they're forcing you to believe so that's how this idea kind of came to mind. I don't watch the news, I don't read the news. I hate when I let things consume me like that. So the essence of this photo was actually to try and capture what it felt like, like the overwhelming feeling of just absorbing all this information in one hit and then trying to decide what's real and what's not and what do we believe and what don't we believe and how do we move forward with this when we're living in such a time of uncertainty. So I asked Luke again to come and be in this photo. And basically the whole idea was to show what it feels like when we consume way too much information. And the only way I knew how to do that was to literally wrap an entire human being in newspaper. So that's what we did. Eric and I pretty much got Luke wrapped in hundreds of newspapers and we got him to sit down at a table and basically everything he touched was covered in newspaper. And I think the, the image itself is really strong because it shows that whole consumption of too much words and too much information. And then we're left having to move through and task what is actually believable and what isn't. And that's really overwhelming and it's really terrifying, particularly when you're sitting in a place where you don't know what's gonna happen tomorrow, which is what I think a lot of us felt for two whole years of our lives. So yeah, this photo is called What You Consume Consumes You.